Missouri. In a world of few guarantees, Jake's Collision Repair stands behind their work with a lifetime guarantee. Jake's Collision Repair uses all made by your vehicle's man. The aftermarket certified technicians work with the latest state-of-the-art equipment, but in Jake's Collision Repair is preferred by most insurance companies and works with all of them. Jake's Collision Repair, Repair 2416 Junction Avenue in Sturgis, and immediate openings are now available at their new location at 4415 East Colorado Boulevard in Spearfish. It's time for the fifth quarter with Yellow Jacket head coach Mark Nori on Eagle Country and MyEagleCountry.com. And welcome back to the Young Center. Here at halftime, it's South Dakota School of Mines leading the Yellow Jackets 36-31 to in this Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference uh, tournament game. And let's take a look at this first half statistics. Hard Rockers shooting just under 52%. They made 14 out of their 27 shots. They were four for six from three-point land, 66.7%. And they got to the free throw line four times, made all four of their free throws in the first half. Black Hill State shooting 41% in the first half. They were 14 out of 34. Jackets attempted 10 threes, made three, 30%. And Black Hill State did not shoot a free throw in the first half. Rebounds, 20 in the first half for the Hard Rockers, 13 for the Yellow Jackets. Turnovers in the first half, four for South Dakota School of Mines, just one for Black Hill State. Individual scoring, boy, Alec Williams really got the Hard Rockers off and going. He had 13 points in the first half, picked up a couple of fouls, did not see much of him down the stretch there in the first half, but Hard Rockers were able to maintain the lead, although it's down to five now. It was as many as 14 at one point. So Williams with 13 points leading the Hard Rockers, and Williams was six of seven from the floor in the first half. Rest of the scoring for Tech, Logan Ellers with six, five for Wilfred Dixon off the bench. Damani Hayes had four, three for Mitchell Sucker, three for Troy Brady, and two for Tristan Von Nita. For Black Hill State, Sava Dukic off the bench, hit a couple of threes, then had that steal and bucket right before the end of the first half. Sava's got eight points at halftime as he is uh, three of seven from the floor, two for four from behind the arc. Next in scoring for the Yellow Jackets, Snow Stephenson with seven points, three of six from the floor for Snow in the first half. Joel Scott had six first half points, four points for Antonio Capley off the bench, two points for Tyler Oliver, two for Trey Whitley, and two for Tommy Donovan. Yellow Jackets leading rebounder here at halftime is Antonio Capley. Antonio pulled down six rebounds off the bench there in the first half. And again at halftime, it's 36-31. The Hard Rockers with the lead of five points. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back to take a look at the Junix Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram scoreboard and update you on other scores in the RMAC right after this. Just knocked my computer off. <laughs> 